Hi and welcome to iConstruction TV. In this video, we will be talking about personal protective equipment, usually called PPE. But before we go into further details, I would appreciate that you like, subscribe and share our construction based content. It has been reported by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration that 1 in 10 construction site workers are injured every year. The OSHA also reports that fall hazards are the leading cause of injury at construction sites. While many of these injuries are caused by simple accidents, others could have been prevented if not for carelessness or negligence arising from non-usage of the PPE. Accidents cannot be totally avoided, but the good news is that with the use of personal protective equipment, these accidents and illnesses resulting from construction site work can be reduced. It is now a policy for construction companies to provide site safety measures for their workers on a construction site. What is personal protective equipment? Personal protective equipment may be seen as clothing or equipment that are worn by construction workers, students, site visitors as well as contractors on a construction site in order to protect and prevent work-related hazards. There are different types of personal protective equipment that are being used on the construction site. Hand gloves, safety glasses, shoes, earplugs or mop. Hard hat, respirators, and coveralls are just few of the types of personal protective equipment that are used. The head protective equipment usually comes in form of caps as well as helmets. They are used that to protect falling the head above from any site. object. Take a look at this picture. This construction worker was fastening probably a nail or something to the wall using a hammer. Had it been he had his gloves fitted on his hand, the effect of hitting his finger with a hammer would have been reduced. The hand protective equipment are in the form of hand gloves. These gloves are used to protect the construction worker's hand and fingers from injuries and hazards that might occur from either electrical, chemical, or physical accidents. Some jobs on the construction work site produce very, very loud sound in form of noise. It's now essential that the construction worker should protect their ear against temporal and permanent deafness by the use of earplugs and earmuffs. This equipment should be used in situations where the activity to be done on site requires the use of drills, pneumatic power gears, hammers, generator sets, etc. The types of eye protection used on work sites include safety glasses and face shield. These types of face protection protect the human eyes from chemical spillage, from irritants and mechanical hazards. Foot and leg protection is required when working in areas where there is a danger of foot injuries due to falling or rolling objects or objects that may pierce the sole of the shoe or where an employee's feet are exposed to electrical hazards. Leggings may be required where there is the possibility of burns from extreme cold or hot materials. The type of foot or leg protection to be used should be related to the nature of the work that is to be done on site. Protective shoes and boots may be made from leather, rubber, plastics and may be fabricated by sewing, vocalizing or molding. The shoe or boots to be used for construction site should be 
sleep resistance and have a hard sole that would protect the worker's feet from injuries caused by sharp objects. Now, in some situations, for example, in a situation where concrete would be poured, it's expected that the boot should be long enough to reach the knee so as to protect the construction worker's feet from irritation caused by the chemicals of the cement. The footwear to be used on work site should be capable of protecting the construction worker's feet from injuries caused by nails or sharp objects. Some construction activities involves chemical usage, for example in paintings, where the paint produced some irritating kind of smell that can affect the respiratory system. Apart from painting, there are other activities like grinding, excavation, use of insecticides and demolition that are capable of raising dust and fumes. When used, the respirator can remove many types of air contaminants from the air. One of the important steps in the use of the respirator is to ensure proper fit so as to make sure that the respirator covers the mouth and nose. The body protection equipment are in the form of coats, coveralls, vests, jackets, aprons, full body suits, cut resistant clothing and high visibility clothing. These protection wears protect the human body from excessive temperatures, from chemical exposure, radioactive substances and infectious substances. The high visibility clothing is used to protect the construction workers from being hit by a truck. It has a reflective strip that enables visibility even at longer distances and in dark areas. The welding apron provides protection from welding sparks, while the cut resistant clothing are worn by construction workers to prevent cuts from sharp and pretty objects. The full body suit is worn to protect the body from excessive temperatures. Another form of the body protection system is the fall protection system. Just as the name implies, this system protects the construction workers from falling while engaged in an activity. There are two basic types of fall protection system, the fall arrest system and the fall restraint system. The fall arrest system ensures that the construction workers is cut before descending or falling. It also limits the distance and the consequence of a fall. There are three major parts that mix up the fall protection system. This includes the anchors, the body support and the connecting device. The anchors are used to attach to a horizontal or vertical lifeline. The body supports are in the form of vests that is used to distribute the total load of the human body weight throughout the upper part of the body and why the connecting device ties your body harness to the anchorage point. The fall restraint system prevents the construction worker from falling any distance and is achieved by not allowing the worker to reach an unprotected side or edge while performing an activity on a site. Now, you've learned about personal protective equipment and the types that are used for work sites. It is essential that proper training is being given to employees in order for them to master and understand how these PPE are to be used while working on the construction site. This is to ensure their safety and efficiency during work time. And thank you for watching this video on PPE. I hope you subscribe and you share this knowledge with individuals who you think would need it the most.